What gets you down? Maybe it's getting benched for most of your soccer match or a bad grade on that test you studied so hard for. It might be a fight with your best friend. Yeah, well, you're one too. Or when you find out your family can't take a trip to the beach this summer. Maybe it gets you down when everyone else wins a gazillion end of school awards and you get none. We all get knocked down sometimes. And it's tempting to just stay there. After all, getting up is risky. There are no guarantees you won't fall down again. But God promises you don't have to do this alone. He's right there to take your hand and help you up. He's ready to walk beside you. He's going to lead you. And if you do get knocked flat again, God still loves you. He still has an amazing story for you to tell, and he'll give you strength to start again. When you get right back up after something gets you down, others can see God at work in you. That's why choosing resilience is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. It's hard. That doesn't mean we should give up. When the going gets tough and I want to give up, I will trust in you. Cause you're always gonna lead, always gonna lead, always gonna lead me through. When I'm feeling overwhelmed and almost want to quit, I will not give in. Cause you're giving me strength, giving me strength, the strength to start again. Tried everything. Rinse, rinse. Tell me something. Are you awake? Because you're fighting like you're asleep. I can't stop him. You gotta hit him harder. I am. You gotta knock him down. I have, but every time I knock him down, he just gets back up again. Well, oh, that's what he does. Oh, yeah. He's trying to get in your thinker. Uh, it hurts. Up here. Right, uh, and in front of the looks of it, he's doing a pretty good job. All right, so what can I do? You gotta go up to him and you gotta look him in his beady right. little eyes. All right, you gotta right. say to him, not today. Not today. I'm gonna knock you down. And if you get back up, I'm gonna hit you again. Uh, and again. Uh, and again if I have to. 
Yeah. You gotta walk right up to him and hit him right in the nose and let the whole world know that he's the real clown. Yeah. Now get in there. Go for it. Ah. Go, Greg. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Weave and bob. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. Show. John, hey, what does the word resilience mean to you? Uh, oh, well, I guess it means bouncing back. Oh, that's a good way to look at Thank it. Thank you. It's like getting back up when something knocks you down. Right. Well, today... It's picking yourself up and dusting yourself off. Uh -huh. Jumping back in when life spits you out. Making a molehill out of a mountain. Charging in with no strategy and no fear of consequences. Resilience! Not sure I agree with all of that. Yeah, well. Oh! We got airmail! Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. It's here. What? Wait, wait, what's here? Uh, the, the video game I ordered. It, it's called Bouncer. Did you say video game? <gasps> video, video game. game. Can't, Can't wait, wait to play, play that video, video game. game. Video game. It should be fun. Let's play it today. I got it. Ah. <sighs> Brandon, wait. Brandon. Brandon! John? Huh? Down here. Brandon! What are you doing in there? I have no idea. Well, how are we supposed to get you out? How should I know? Uh, you ordered the game. That, that, that doesn't make me an expert. You gotta help me, John. I'm all alone in here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 figure this out. Uh, 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 oh, what is that in the top corner? It's, it looks like a baby kangaroo. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Maybe I'm supposed to get there. Uh, yeah. Good plan. Go. I can't move. What? I can't. Mm. Mm. You've got the controls. S see if you can uh, move me. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, here we go. Mm. Oh, this is weird. Oh, is it working? <sighs> yes. Go toward that ladder. Uh, okay, okay. <sighs> Going up. Oh, that way. Oh, no, no, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. Hey, watch out for that. Oh! Oh, oh man! Brandon's gone! That was a strange sensation. Oh, you're alive, Brandon! What, you think I would give up after one little mistake? No! Let's try again. You're getting the hang of this. Okay, here goes. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Up the ladder, and jump. Knowing you're in control, jump. Makes me feel, jump. Oh. Less alone, jump. Yes! <sighs> I think we're gonna make it. Ah! A giant strawberry just smushed Brandon. It's okay, we've got multiple lives. Oh, okay. Now let's get up there and get that Joey. All right, let's do this. Jump, 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 jump. That way, that way. Ladder, that way. Okay, jump, jump. Ah, uh, yeah, jump. You're doing it. We're doing it. Jump, climb the ladder. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. You know, the most fun I've ever had playing a video game in my entire life. I could play this game for hours. All right, you want to be the kangaroo now? It's Bible story time with Kelly. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Kelly. Kelly. And what do you got for us today? I've got a great story that is going to hopefully inspire us all to have resilience. Then take it away. A lot of stuff happened to Jesus during his lifetime. He was a teacher, he was a miracle worker, and he had followers that learned from him. Then, 
Jesus was arrested even though he had done nothing wrong. He was put on trial and then put to death. For his followers, everything seemed hopeless until they saw Jesus raised from the dead. And Jesus still had things to teach him. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. You must go and make disciples of all nations. You can be sure I will always be with you to the very end. Hmm. Oh. Jesus told his followers to make disciples of all nations. He also promised to always be with them. Later, Jesus said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me from one end of the earth to the other. Then right before the eyes of his friends, Jesus rose up into heaven. Wow! Look at him go! He's like a bird or a plane. Wait, 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 wait. What are we supposed to do now? He said he was going to be with us. Oh. You may be wondering how Jesus was going to be with them if he had just flown up to heaven. And how are they supposed to tell people about Jesus from one end of the earth to the other? Well, that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. On the day of Pentecost, people from all over the world were gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate. All the Jesus followers were gathered in one place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jesus wants us to tell people about him from one end of the earth to the other. Any ideas? Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes, you. How about a television commercial? Ah, social media. Oh, no, no, no. We should call everybody in the world on a phone. Oh, it's a good idea. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, none of those things have been invented yet. <laughs> um, does anyone have any first century ideas? Suddenly, they heard a sound from heaven like a strong wind. Is that a vacuum cleaner? Oh, I, no, it's a leaf blower. Uh, not invented. <gasps> Look! They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues that came and rested on each of them. What is happening right now? Uh, just, just go with it. Jesucristo está con nosotros. Uh, what? They were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in languages that they had never known before. He said Jesus is with us. Oh, I didn't know you know Spanish. Oh, neither did I. <laughs> es increíble. There are all sorts of people who speak all kinds of different languages, and they can understand what we're saying. It must be the Holy Spirit. Oh, if this keeps up, then the good news of Jesus will travel from one end of the earth to the other. Alabado sea Dios! Through the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus' followers were able to tell the good news to people all over the world without having to travel anywhere. 3,000 people became Jesus' followers in a single day. Even though Jesus had gone up to heaven, he showed his followers that he still was with them. The end. Wow, that's incredible. What a roller coaster. Oh, yeah, totally. J Jesus is there, then he's not. Then he's there again, then he's not. And then he's sending flaming tongues of fire. <laughs> yep. And like those early followers of Jesus, God is with us. Even when things seem impossible, or when it feels like you're alone, God is always with us. And that's one reason we can have resilience, because we know we're never alone. Hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. You know, it's awesome to know that we're never alone, that God is with us no matter what. What are you doing? And then that didn't let that tongue move back if we're on fire. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, reveal the question. When have you felt alone? Well,
I feel alone when I wake up in the middle of the night and there isn't a sound anywhere in the apartment except for the mysterious creak, creak, coming from the bathroom. Creak, creak. John? Hi! Oh, I, I can feel, I can feel alone when I uh, disappoint someone or when I feel overwhelmed. Stop it. Okay. What about you? When have you felt alone? Yeah, yeah. The key word is felt because you're never really alone. God is with you. Yep. Good show, John. Yeah, you too, kangaroo. <laughs> we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Time for some video games. Woo! <laughs> Select character, kangaroo. Nice. And here we go. Go right. Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Run into the back wall. All right, attack mode. No, no, not me. No! No, 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 no! Ow! Ow! Down, down! Ah! Ah! <laughs>